this is our new prototype RDOI sensor and this is basically a Stony Man image sensor chip wire bonded directly onto a breakout board which connects to this Arduino using this little shield and uh, on the image sensor chip is a little pinhole um, made using our, our flat printed optics technique and uh, glued directly onto the image sensor chip and this uh, allows a pretty much a wide field of view to illuminate about a 16 by 16 block of pixels which is uh, about what you can fit into an Arduino. Arduinos don't have a lot of memory. Um, but you could do some interesting things, which we'll show here. This particular Arduino is programmed with, uh, uh, with an algorithm that looks for bright light in the environment. And uh, right now we have a very nice bright light, basically this uh, overhead light here, the ceiling light. And uh, what the Arduino does is dumps to the serial monitor the approximate row and column location of the bright light. And you can see right here, we, uh, the, the Arduino thinks that the ceiling light is located at row 6, column 8 um, of the 16 by 16 grid. And as I move the Arduino around, you can see that the location of the light changes accordingly. Not too surprising. So a question comes up of, well, what if we wanted higher precision? We can use a technique called hyperacuity to uh, boost the precision estimate of the, of the light and let me turn this on here. And so, um, I won't get into the math here, but effectively what's happening is that the pixel location is now being refined um, by a factor of 10. So we can actually estimate the location of the light in the image to a tenth of a pixel. And right here, um, I'm basically not printing out the decimal point, but uh, right now it thinks that the overhead light is at row 7.0, column 7.3. And again, as I slowly move the, uh, the board around, you can see that the location of the overhead light changes and, and is relatively smooth. So, so we can actually get a pretty nice precision using just a, a 16 by 16 array. So let's have a little bit of fun. I can set this board down here. And uh, you can see that it thinks that the overhead light is at row 81 column, I'm sorry, row 8.1 column 3.0. So what I can do is I can take a little flashlight here and uh, illuminate the Arduino or illuminate the, the Stony Man. And, and what we see is that if I get it just right here, um, we see that the, uh, the Arduino is now picking up two points of light. One with the ceiling light. Again, it looks like here it's uh, row 8.1, column 3.0. And the flashlight, as I move the flashlight around, you can see that it, it changes its location as well. So uh, this particular script is written to look for up to 10 points of light, um, which is probably more than you're going to realistically fit into uh, this small image, but it's enough room to do some interesting things.